next topic is lean production systems. So what's a lean production system? A lean production system is an operation that maximizes the value added by each activity by removing waste and delays. So the next story tells us how the lean system was invented. There was a Japanese worker who was working for Toyota, and he visited one of General Motors plants in Framingham uh, in 1986. And th this is what he observed. Next, we looked at the line itself. Next to each workstation were piles. In some cases, weeks worth of inventory. Discarded boxes and other temporary wrapping material were littered. On the line itself, the work was unevenly distributed with some workers running madly to keep up and others finding time to smoke and even read a newspaper. At the end of the line, we found an enormous work area full of finished cars riddled with defects. So what's the problem with this factory? First, there were too much inventory between workstations. And next, the work was unevenly distributed. So some of the workers were idle and others were working without breaks. And next, the finished cars had defects. So this led the idea of the lean system. So let's think about how cars are produced in the 1980s. Henry Ford invented the idea of assembly lines. Using the assembly lines, they were able to produce cars in large batches, and this reduced the per unit production cost significantly. They produced each type of model in large batches and kept high inventories. On the other hand, in Japan, the order sizes were smaller and customers were asking for a greater variety of models. So, Toyota produced cars in smaller batches, and since they need to produce a lot of models, they switched from one mod model to another very quickly. So, quick changeovers. And this led, the idea, led to the idea of, of just-in-time. Just-in-time means uh, let's produce only what's needed when it's needed. In other words, let's produce after we receive orders. And this is also called a pool system. On the other hand, the idea of Ford was that uh, let's predict future demand and produce enough inventory before orders arrive. This is called a push system. The push system had many disadvantages. They kept high inventory, so the cost of holding inventory was high. And if they found some defects in their products, they had to throw out the entire inventory, which is a waste of money. And because of these inefficiencies, the lean system became more popular. Today, most of the companies are using a combination of a pull and push system. So let's talk about the pull and push systems in more detail. In a push system, a manufacturer forecasts demand based on previous orders and produces inventory before it receives actual orders. A distributor, a wholesaler, and a retailer does the same thing. So here we have a supply chain. We have a manufacturer, distributor, wholesaler, and retailer and each member holds inventories <clears throat> before they receive an order. So once they receive an order, uh, they fill the order from inventory. And before they run out of inventory, they place or or an order uh, with the next member. So, and uh, on the other hand, in a pool system, a manufacturer waits until he receives an actual order and does not hold any inventory. 
A distributor, a wholesaler, and a retailer does the same thing. And these members don't hold inventory before <coughs> we re they receive an order. Now, uh, once they receive an order, the re retailer places an order with the wholesaler. The wholesaler doesn't have the inventory either, so it places an order with the distributor. The distributor doesn't have inventory either, so he places an order with the manufacturer. The manufacturer doesn't have inventory, so he produces the product. And once the product is ready, it's shipped to the distributor, wholesaler, retailer, and customers. So this is how the pool system works. What are the pros and cons of each system? First, um, what are the benefits of a push system and disadvantages? So uh, in this system, we fill the orders uh, from inventory so customers don't have to wait long. So short lead time is a benefit. And also we are holding inventory so the cost of holding inventory is high. That's a disadvantage. And also, it's sometimes it's very hard to predict demand. Another dis disadvantage. How about the pool system? What are the benefits of a pool system and disadvantages? So we are not holding any inventory. So the cost of holding inventory is low, which is a benefit. And we are uh, producing products after we receive an order. So the wait time is long. That's a disadvantage. Also, in a pool system, we can't use economies of scale because the order sizes are small. So we are producing products in small batches. So small batches means we can't use economies of scale and the unit per unit in uh, production cost is high. So that's another disadvantage. <clears throat> 